Hello, hello, hello all my machine heads and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Maypole Farm, huge dairy farm with our Durabine 416 we are mowing. Fury has made some decisions and some changes, that's going to be great. Okay, upon further research, I found out, I found out, I found out that this bad boy here, the Durbine 416, will mow between 11 and 15 to 16 miles an hour. I mean, it is a super, super quick machine. Holy crap, and I was here mowing for three episodes at 6 miles an hour. It was absolutely insane. So, I've bumped this up to 11. I've also decided, that's why, if you look up in the right-hand corner, we're back up to 1.1 million. Because I sold the fermenting silos and the hay dryers back. Uh, even though they are a thing, and they are realistic fermenting silos and things like that. Not like that one. Not like those. Uh, they're more of an open thing where they can dry the hay. Where it goes in loose, and then it's got a bunch of fans, and it dries. and It's just way different. So, what we're going to do... Unfortunately, we got some good news and got some bad news. We're going to do this in bales, but we're going to make it into hay so that we can uh, just do hay bales. And then the next round, we'll do silage bales uh, on this. Now, unfortunately, the bad news is it's going to only give our cows 80%, uh, but that's okay because we'll buy us some straw bales from the stole. And we'll get them some straw bales. And then let me show you what I've got planned here. Um, flight mode. Get up. So we only got this little bit to mow. That'll only take a few minutes. We mowed all this. My goal is to... And at first, I was going to make half of this silage bales. And the other half, I was going to make hay bales. But remember, we're starting with 50 cows each. And I want to have enough hay bales to give them sufficient enough. You know what I mean? Okay, the next plan of action is going to be to combine this field and this field and make it a wheat field so we can plant that next month. Uh, combine those two. I'm not going to go crazy and combine like four, five, six fields so we have these ginormous. ginormous. This is 20 acres uh, is what I'm guessing. I'm guessing about 21. We'll see when we're all done. Uh, I guessed about 21. So we're going to try to keep them right around 18 to 20. So if we combine this one with this one, that'll give us probably about 15, 16 acres. And that's well enough to have um, decent size equipment. Like I can have a 6 meter header uh, on our harvester, and I don't have, but I don't have to go the 14 meter header. See what I mean? Uh, we'll leave the trees there on this one, and then we'll combine one, two, three, four. We'll combine two. And two. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so two and then three probably. Or leave that one there or whatever. Because we're going to need this grass one here. We're going to need a couple extra grass ones because we're going to need a lot of grass. Um, normally, I would mow the uh, pastures up before I put the cows in there. But I want to, because we're going into September, we still have September, October, and beginning of November before it gets really cold. It's still kind of fall, so I want them to have something to eat when they go out. That's what I'm. my goal is anyways. Um, there. Tied by this. Let's get this mode. Let's get going. Now, this is going to seem super fast compared to the way we were mowing before. Um, but it's great because... Whoa, why did that go 18? What... Give me one second, everyone. I probably will have to turn it off. That should be. That should be. Let's customize this. Let's see. 10.6. Why was I going 18? Oh, you know why? Because I didn't have it down. I didn't have it down. I didn't have it down. That's all right. It freaked me out. Yeah, I was like, how come I'm not mowing? <laughs> There. Let's, uh, we'll go down to the end. I was like, wow, I didn't set that up for 18 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be a Fury video unless something happened, would it? So we'll just go down here and we'll start. We'll turn it on. And we'll start doing some passes. Get this done. 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe Multiplayer Friday is tomorrow again. I'm super excited. I'm going to do something different on Multiplayer, I think, this time. I think what I'm going to do is set it up. Um, I normally put my mic on push to talk, but the guys were telling me, well, we can't hear you, Fury. What's going on? And they were concerned about that maybe my mic had shut off or whatever. So I think I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I've got some plans on how I'm going to incorporate I don't think I have to narrate as much when I'm doing multiplayer. I think I can just talk with the guys and, and vice versa. Because I watched a couple of Farmer Klein videos today, and he, when he plays multiplayer, he just kind of plays the game and then talks to the guys. Because you can still hear him. Um, and he's not really narrating. He's basically having conversations with people on camera. Which is kind of cool. Which is what I'm going to do, I think. Uh, and that'll incorporate those guys more into it. Uh, remember, if you want to sign up, let us know in uh, the comments section. I have it set up under the community section. So go under my community page and check it out there and sign up there. That's where I really want everybody to sign up. Uh, so we have it. Let me know if you're going to be a part-time or a full-time. If you're going to be a full-time person, we're going to get you your own tractor of your brand uh, just make sure that you pick one that it has enough horsepower to handle the ginormous equipment that we're using on that map. <laughs> Look how fast we are mowing now. We are cooking with gas. It's great. Yeah, because you guys know, you guys know that Fury is a big one on realism. That's why we talked about it in depth yesterday on why, um why I download mods and that's I don't download mods to make life easier and that would have made life easier and that would have been great uh, if they were super real but the Stevie pack that I got for that isn't real like it basically the the fermenter is a basically mini uh, BGA it gives you digestate as well and I'm like um, no because that wouldn't be on a farm that would be in the BGA so that's what I got thinking about it uh, when I first signed on. I'm a little late because I got recording and I forgot to hit record. <laughs> and I played about 25 minutes rambling on about this, 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 this. So it gave me a chance to kind of start over. I didn't do it on purpose. It was, you guys know. And I'm so used to hitting my up button on my D-pad. to When I play truck sim, I have it set up on my d-pad on the steering wheel uh centers the camera and i'm trying to center the camera <laughs> and i'm realizing that you're playing farm sim oh man i tell you i watched uh oh i had the I'll, I'll tell you this i'll tell you that story in a second i had the most wonderful video that i watched of mr Sealy p he's starting on the one of the new maps just dropped the really tiny one uh, and he's using older equipment, small baby bales, the whole like really small equipment. So make sure you guys check him out. Uh, but it was funny because he said this one comment, and I just uh, he said, and I'm quoting him. He said, "I know that some people don't want to watch me drive around harvesting or picking up bales for the whole episode, but he said it is what it is." And we are playing this the way I want to play it. And I stood up and I cheered. And my wife, of course, thought I was having a seizure. And <laughs> she said, what are you cheering about? Because up until now, I thought I was the only one that did that. I thought I was the only one that said, I don't care how many episodes we mow. We're doing this realistically. So... <laughs> Mr. Sealy P, my hat goes off to you. My Also, my hat goes off to Cavalier Roy. What a wonderful, wonderful map this is. Uh, and I am super, super, super excited for uh, Riverview version 4. Uh, and I never, and I never like updates on maps. I don't. I don't. I went into this whole thing about don't drop things. But what I realized... Uh, after speaking to some uh, very reputable family members, Reefy, <clears throat> Reefy, <laughs> uh, it, version three has been out a while. So, uh, 
what's that tell you when Reefy himself is on like year four? So that map, that version's been out. So it's not like he's just updating it for the sake of saying, here, there's an update. He's It's let it go a while. So I know that fi our version four will probably be his finest work. And it'll probably be the final version of it. Um, and maybe down the line, it'll, it'll be changed uh, again. We don't know. Uh, I do know that I'm not a big a big fan of updates everybody knows that so what I've learned is that when maps drop I don't jump right on them you see I didn't jump right on this one I let it go it was out probably how long was I on Riverview two weeks it was out for two weeks and I let it go out for two weeks the other reason I do that is because everybody and their brother jumps all over a new map as soon as it comes out and I'm not talking about you guys as family members I'm talking about youtubers and so you YouTube it and you'll see everybody's doing it. It's great. And it's great for Cavalier Roy because he deserves the recognition because uh, it's a wonderful map. But as a content creator, when you get so much saturated saturation, it's absolutely insane because you can't get. And, and being that we're such a small channel and everybody's watching like uh, Virtual Farmer and Daggerwin and Mr. CLP. Those big guys, they're all watching. Um, if they're all doing the same map, then it kind of is hard for a little fish like myself. It's kind of like a little fish trying to eat and there's sharks all around you. All right, so we are mode. We finally did it. It only took us four episodes. Now, let me check something. Let's see. Let's see. I remember, Fury said 21 acres. Twenty point sixty. Am I good or what? I'm not tooting my own horn, but holy crap. Holy crap. I said twenty one acres and it was twenty point sixty. Oh man, I tell you something. Every once in a while I should probably play the lottery. So every once in a while, you know, the sun shines on a dog every once in a while. <laughs> I got that from White Man Can't Jump. All right, then we're going to take our Ford down, and we're going to buy a tether, and we're going to start tetanus today. Uh, Ted as much as we can up in the 15 minutes. Uh, and then when I, let me show you what I am doing. Let me grab my joystick again and set this up. I want to show you what we're planning on doing. All right, we're going to use something completely different this time. Uh, let's go to wind rowers. I watched about 15 videos on this thing today. The Samaz Twist 600. It is a super realistic piece of equipment. It doesn't take much horsepower. And it's super. And then they just put the baler on the back. Sometimes they put a square baler. Sometimes they put a round baler. And this is what we're going to do. And we're going to use that with, 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 all the way over the fast baler. This thing here, the Viacon fast baler. Uh, because if you drive it like five miles an hour, it will just pop it out and you don't have to stop. So in the long run, it's kind of like bailing with a uh, square baler. Because even though the other balers have the automatic eject on them, you still have to stop. This one will store a little bit in it and then it'll start making a bail. So what it does is it gives you the opportunity if you drive it like five or six miles an hour... It will literally, you don't have to stop. So you can just bail them up. And then that wind rower, see, it's like this. Look at, I never thought in a million years that this was real. But, and then I researched it and I started watching video on top of video. They're huge. But the thing about them though, in real life, like I just got done saying, these things are as big as a dump truck. They are huge. Absolutely ginormous. And it's crazy to think that I'm hoping one of these iterations giants fixes their scale problem because the other thing is this this machine here in real life this is huge too I mean like I told you guys it's got like a 10.3 a 10.3 meter thing on it in real life I mean it's like 30 feet wide Look at some of the videos, and some people, and some of them have the disc bind on the front. Uh, they have this thing, and then they have the one that looks like a harvester, and they're putting, they're going over like wheat to make straw. It's pretty sick, but the, they're huge. And then they, look how 
tiny this tractor looks. And yet, and yet, when Farm Sim put out their poll, their thingies where it described it, it said that the player size is six foot seven. Now, granted, if I was six foot seven, I guess that would look right. But this is, eh, I guess if I was six foot seven, I don't know. I might be changing my philosophy because if you look, I'm not coming up to the top of the, the thing anymore. Huh. Anyways, as you see, I fixed my steering wheel. We're going to go down and we are going to get ourselves a tether from the shop. And in 15 minutes, we're going to tet up as much as we can. Um, and then we're going to stop. I think, well, like I said, um, yeah, I think we'll go 30 minutes today because I'm going to be ending my week on a long video uh, from my multiplayer. So and I've already done one hour long video this week with the first multiplayer. If I do another hour... Uh, oh, and I did an hour on this last time, so that's three hour-long videos out of the five days that I record. Now, I know I didn't look both ways, everyone, so because the traffic's off. I just can't stand the traffic. I, I told you guys that on episode one. That's the first thing I turn off. I uh, can't stand it. The traffic in Farm Sim, no matter how good the map maker is, it's just... It's dumb. It, it's just... It kind of re it reminds me of the traffic in ATS in truck sim. They'll they'll see you pulling up on on a road and they'll pull out in front of you, and you're thinking, "Wow, are you are you really human?" <laughs> wow, you know what? I never noticed that till just now. Oh, okay, all right, all right. It's a gas station. I'll tell you, Roy, you almost got me fooled. I, from back there, thought this was a Taco Bell. I was like, hmm, the Keto Taco Bell. That's cool, though. Look at that. I mean, there's nothing in it, but you're not supposed to. Uh, and the fuel station isn't that far from here, so that's cool. We have these in the United States. So even though this is a European map, we have these that sit outside of our convenience stores, gas stations like this. Um... And you can buy ice cream. Uh, the kids usually reach in and steal them. Uh, so most of the time what the owners will do is they'll move them inside. Because the kids will run up and steal them. But we have those. Those are realistic to us. We have these too. Yep, yep, yep. We have these the same in the States. We, you can go up to like your local Lowe's or your Home Depot. And you can buy a new propane tank and switch out your old one. Yep. Cool. Never noticed that before. All right, so first thing we're going to buy is our windrow, or our uh, tether, tether, tether. But let's get the 100 horsepower, 9 meters. Let's get the big, no, let's, let's stick with the 9. 8.7, let's stick with the 9, the Viacon. Yeah. We'll go 10 miles an hour. And then next year, when we get done with our cows and we get ready to, be, well, when spring first hits, we'll, um, now I am going to need, that's a little heavier than what I expected. So we're going to need a couple hundred pound weight on the front of this. So let's go, let's just go a normal ADCO 700. Just because that did pull that back down quite a bit. There we go. See how it picked it right back up again? All right. So now we're going to go doing some tedding. We're going to do some tedding. And then, like I said, <coughs> oh. oh, sorry about that, everyone. Um, it'll only give our cows 80%, but I want to make sure that we're doing this as real as we possibly can. Um, I did that because, I don't know, I just kind of popped into my head. I was like, oh, I'll just do this so I don't have to worry about mowing. And then when I decided to make this the ultra-realistic series, it 
popped into my head right when I signed on today. Uh, and I loaded the map up. I'm like, wait, that's not very realistic. That's more one of those mods that kind of cheats for you. Now, loading wagons are legit. I know farmers personally, we had one too. Uh, although we used it mostly for grain. <laughs> um, even though you're not supposed to. We did anyways. Uh in the, like in the UK, they use them all the time. But they have like if you're doing silage in a pit, that's the other reason they use them, which we still could do. We can we can. I sold the pits on this map because I had those other ones, but I can put them right back down again. I'm sure that. In fact, now we're gonna do this all one hay because that way we'll do silage next time. But let's see how much they are. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go like this. Let's go construction. Just for the heck of it. Um, I think they're under silos, right? I hope he's got these where he can buy them. Yes. Wait. Well, cool. I'll put them in the manure heap. Um, bunker silo. Let's see how big this is. Let's see. Because he had them. Let's see. Ooh, that's huge. That is huge. But he had them. Where did he have them? I think he had one over here. He had one like right here. But that's that's too big. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to look into... Because I like these square ones because you can back right into them. But let me see something. Let's see how this would fit right back into our thing here. Does that give us enough space? For our side? No, it wouldn't. But if we went like this, we could put it right there and still get in and out of it. I don't think that's a problem, right? That's how we'll do our silage this time. There. Now, let's go take a look at that real quick. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Coming through. I just want to make sure I can get in and out of there. Which I can. Perfect. And you can back right in. There's plenty of room there to back right around. Turn around and back right into there. Perfect. So right now, and it would be good because we could dump the silage right into here. Yep. Perfect. Was that a big, was that a hill? Yeah. Not much getting work done today, but that's okay. We're figuring things out. There. Perfect. All right. Let's go get some Ted and done. For a couple more minutes anyways, at least six. There. Now, that's how we're going to do it. We're going to get our hay done first. Uh, our hay bales um, and then we're going to do silage in there um, and then we'll just get a bucket that's we'll do it with a wheel loader if we have to and we'll get a bucket that is 4,000 or however matches yeah now we're working like a real farm Turn this off. Get this down. It's going to go into the bushes. No, perfect. Perfect. I think we can come over even a little bit more. Right in the middle. I think we're going to hit both of them. Perfect. All right.
Perfect. All right, so I think if we stay on this middle row here. Yep, perfect. Making some hay, making some hay, making some hay. Do, 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 do. All right, let's hit our cruise. The only reason I use cruise a lot uh, is because it represents to me a real life tractor. I don't play along with the whole uh, the gear shifting thing, even though that's super realistic. But when you're using a real tractor, you put it in a gear and then you let off the clutch and it goes. Um, it literally goes and it stays that speed until you hit the brake. Uh, you'll turn the RPMs up and it'll go that speed just like cruise control. So that's why I did it. I mean, like I said, there's some things that you have to change because farm sim is a game and not real. I could go through and hook up all the gears and hook my gear shifter up and get the extended gears in it and do the whole nine yards. I could do that. Am I going to? Probably not. <laughs> but now we're doing it the right way. Um, now, here's a question for you guys since it's been forever since we did trivia. All right, so since this farm is basically in the UK, um, and I want to try to represent as much of that as I can. All right, middle, 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 middle. Um, do you guys, when you're doing your silage pits, get that straight. Perfect. Uh, do you guys use wheel loaders or front loaders or, or telehandlers? What do you guys use to unload it? Um, your silage bunkers. Do you guys use like the silage bunkers that the United States do? Most of the time, they're so big that they use wheel loaders. Um, I've seen indoor ones, outdoor ones, covered ones, uncovered ones. Um, and generally speaking, they all use either a wheel loader or a giant telehandler. What do you guys use in the UK? Uh, do you just use a front loader to unload it, or do you use a telehandler? Or a wheel loader or vice versa. Like, in the comments, the people who are from the UK or Europe in general, uh, let me know how you guys push it in there. Do you use a big tractor? Or, perfect. Uh, do you use a big tractor, big wheel loader? Uh, the reason, like, our big American farms that use big silage bunkers, they are huge so they use a giant wheel loader and they compact it with that everything so all right i'm gonna try to get up to the one round one one headland um and then we'll end this video so we made some decisions i'm glad i'm glad we decided to go this way because now we're going to do silage the right way uh, we can do it by bulk, too. You can put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. So the good news is, is that we can use our same wind rower, and when this is ready to go, we can uh, get it full of just do grass. So we're going to have to have another at least 20-acre grass field for silage because you want to try to keep them even. At least you would think anyways, right? Now I have to stop this here. Because I'm probably going to hit that. Let me swing this out. So that I'm catching it all. And not catching the edge of the barn. Like I just did. Alright, we're still going, going strong. Now this thing would make a horrible <coughs> noise on this thing. On this pavement. I've done it. I've done it to annoy my dad. Because <laughs> he used to hate it. it. It dulls the... Not that you ever want these brakes sharp. But if they if they break off, they're, they cost a lot of money. Alright. We're going to end this right here. And we got our first... Got the mowing done. And we got our first headland done in hay. And we got our silage. Yep, the third one in. Perfect. It's going to work out great.
Perfect. All right. We're going to end it right there. All right, everyone. So we did get some stuff done today. It's a shorter video, but like I said, Multiplayer Friday is tomorrow. It will be a longer video, and I'm going to try a few different things with that. Um, the guys were concerned about not being able to hear me. Um, so I'm going to leave the mic on and maybe just interact with them a little bit more. Uh, actually, yeah, that'll hit it still. Perfect. Look at that. It hits all three. And we didn't miss anything on this one. And then we'll take our wind rower and we'll attach it with our baler right on the back and right up. It'll be perfect. All right, everyone. On that note, please, please, please look out for yourselves. Look out for each other. And most importantly, look out for each other's families. And be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. Be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And on that note, Fury Machine will catch all of you on the flip side. Remember, sign up for Multiplayer Friday tomorrow. It is 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. But we usually get started right around probably 11 to 11.15. Um, and if you friend me on Steam, just make sure you put it in the comments that you sent me a friend request so I know who you are. Uh, and I'll get you a list of the mods. Uh, if not, when you first sign on to the, to the game... Um, you will, uh, it'll tell you which mods we have. We're getting a few of them now. So, all right, everyone. So, I will catch you all tomorrow on Multiplayer Friday. Look at Ranger. It was only a couple days. <laughs> all right, guys. Love each and every one of you. I'll catch you all tomorrow.